Hello YouTube, it's your boy T, and you see your boy Jay back there, you know, we about to react to Chris Seals, Off-White, you know, the Off-White brand. Yeah, here we go, y'all, I just seen this posted. This better not. It might suck. So I'm a, oh, I got something to say about him. But it's all good. I think I, I think I see something. It's crazy. I don't believe that, but it's funny. I got drip on my body, just pop the papati. I shut up, you niggas, I got a papati. I run a cheap shit, just don't humble myself. But it's really hard to get this on my belt. Chains on my collar, get this on my own. I'm gonna be so fake, nigga, pass it for lows. I don't like his voice, but. Like now she wanna fuck her, she got it. But the flow go hard. I ain't gonna lie. You got a good flow. Please look at shit, I'm not stuck with sex. Can't delete my old bitch, cause that shit was too messy. Move on, so make you a cheeky and listen. I need to be accurate, tough for my bitches. I need a kiss, then I'm bleeding, I'll be sick. I'm not bitch, I'm bleeding, I'll be sick. I'm not bitch, I'm bleeding, I'll be sick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a the night, they want to Okay. Okay. But what's so funny way he's rapping about that's how he is. <laughs> that shit funny as hell. I went ham on this. Chris Sales, you went all right on this. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, everybody hate on you because of the little situation, but, like, we got to look past that. You actually did pretty good at this song. I don't know, bro. To me, it looked like they said, like, since that was actually pretty good, since that was actually, I think Off-White uh, Air Jordan 1s is, is basically uh, the Off-White brand breeding with Air Jordan. So, those going to be $500 shoes right there. Ain't it? That's going to be $500 shoes right there. Let me see this commercial real quick, y'all. Hello, sneaker lovers. Cue the review, yeah? Today we're going to look at the Off-White Jordan 1 in the UAC colorway. Now, with the recent retail release, that means retail. Retail means that the rappers kind of muddle their way in there and get bought on eBay or wherever. Now, the start here has been quite easy to distinguish the creative and visual. So let's just have a look at the key details that we're doing now. Okay. Now, this area here, we call this the ghost stitching. Quite typically, this would be the wrong arrangement, and there wouldn't be a space there. If you look at the detail plan, you can see what I'm talking about. There's a very fine space there, and it's the staggered arrangement as it goes on the facing. Another detail that was quite common with one would be the uh, leather quality and the leather finish the surface of it. If you look at this, you can see it is too soft. I would be mad if I ever bought some fake Jordans for three hundred dollars. You look at this, you can see the <clears throat> I still paid three hundred dollars, I just showed a receipt then if that was the case. Yeah, those those right there cost a little bit more. I think that's like eight hundred dollars. All right, let me go ahead and get off of this thing. It's like the jump man. Okay, that song right there. I'm I'm thinking that Chris Sales.
Chris Hills and and uh, Queen. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying anything. I ain't saying anything bad about them. <clears throat> but it made me think that. Like, these conspiracy people be getting me thinking that they so basically sacrifice their marriage for their career. <clears throat> Did this song sound good? And they was married. They was a happy couple before they was famous. But what did they do? Like, you know, I know that the money probably made Chris do what he did, but what he's rapping, like how, how like they, how did Queen become more famous? They said they just now noticing her when she been on all over YouTube making pranks. I know their kids watched them, you know. If they kid watch Funny Mike, I know they bought, watch Queen, Chris and Queen, because all of them connected kind of. So they, they haven't met, uh, um, Chris and Queen as much as Nick and uh, Nicole and King. So like all of them is kind of connected. They if they know DDG, they know they gotta know uh, Funny Mike because one time they was hanging out all in the same little area at a comedy event or whatever the case may be. So I don't know. All I have to say is y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe, and y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Because this is real odd. I'm just looking at it like how I see it. But don't believe that. Don't. No, nah, that's not always true. I just thought of that because we had a conversation about that. Uh, Like with one of my friends, we had a conversation about that like a week ago. Saying that these people be sacrificing stuff just to get where they at. Now, don't believe that. Chuck. That's conspiracy. I ain't saying that they doing that. But that's what I heard. So this ain't no yeah, Illuminati confirmed type stuff. Nah. And forget about that junk. That's not it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just thinking that they did something else. Like this ain't got nothing to do with Illuminati. But yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, Cause that that's pretty crazy. That that's how good that song was, man. But either than that, I can't say the song is the best song or um Anything like that. It sounds familiar to one of my uh one of somebody's favorite rappers and stuff. Like it sound like familiar one of the greatest rappers out there. It's on mainstream. Um there's um there's um a few rappers that he sound like on that song. But he did his own little flavor to it. Like his flow was hard. His flow was kinda like Migos and Future mixed together a little bit. And had like a little bit of, uh, I don't know, bro. That that flow was pretty decent. He did pretty good in that song. I thought it was going to be a sucky song because the other song wasn't all that good um, when he was rapping about his girl. Like it was it was a decent song. Other Like a female, like other people probably like it, but it wasn't my type. Like he could have did better. But then this song right here, it's like, it's actually, I think this is coming from his feelings. And he's turned, this is a turn up song. So, 8 out of 10, you pretty good. The only way you get a 9 out of 10, if you got some bars, you got to have bars. Your beat got to be on point. Everything got to be on point for you to get a 10 out of 10. So, don't worry about that. Or a 9 out of 10, really. I really don't give people 10 out of 10. Um, J. Cole and all of them. Like, when they have good songs, their songs are already 10 out of 10. It's some people that rap like them, and I give them 9 out of 10. Because they, it's, I mean, to me, J. Cole and uh, Kendrick Lamar set the bar right now. Other than uh, Eminem, you know, right now, J. Cole and uh, Kendrick Lamar sets the bar. And Eminem, I already know how to rap and all that. It's just, to me, he be too complex with his lyrics now. Now you got a thing called complexity. Well, ain't no, I ain't dang the word. What I'm talking about? Yeah, what am I talking about? Complex. So he being too complex with his lyrics that nobody don't understand what he's talking about. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. People want to hear what people, people want to hear what's going on now. And he did rap about what's going on now in a freestyle, but the song that he came out with was nothing. Like, people, like it was too complex, and we don't know what he's rapping about, right? We want to know what's going on with our people, why the government is confusing everybody and making us look stupid. Pretty much. Make us look stupid like y'all got away with murder pretty much. Like, you know what I'm saying? A little stuff that they get away with. 
and the government is like allowing this stuff. Like they got people that's getting away with like you know the cops is getting away with stuff like that. That's sad that we gotta live in a society like that today. Now a lot of people are thinking that the Illuminati and you know stuff like that. Yeah, to me it ain't got nothing to do with that, man. There's something something wrong with the system. Period. They just to me I don't even think got nothing, none of that. That's what I'm saying. When I'm looking at reality, I just think of this. Ain't got nothing to do with nothing like that. Why they get away with stuff like that? It's because you're working in an armed force, so they automatically gonna try to like give you a slap on the wrist, cause they they know that like you gonna have a gun, you gonna gonna make mistakes. So that that ain't you don't got nothing to do if you was white or black. It's just that the cops get away with anything. They can get away with murdering a white person, but a white person probably be able to get. He probably get no. Yeah, he probably can get away. But if it was a black dude in that suit and he actually shot, it would have been different. That's the only thing I know. But it's, it's some black dudes that get away with it too. But yeah, because they go off, but they go off of the um the rank, and they want to keep him in the force. So they they probably suspend him for a whole year. He probably still get paid because he got to take care of his kids. You know what I'm saying? They can care less about who they kill. So that's one thing I don't know about if it's okay to join the armed forces. Like, because I be thinking like. It's going to make you look bad when you get away with certain things that other people want. You get, it's pretty much like the cops get spoiled. They get free fast foods and all of that, like, in certain places. And we out here starving, getting work. Like we got to work our ass off. And we still get harassed by the cops. Cops, they barely get harassed by them if they in a higher rank. You know, they can't get arrested. It's like, to me, it is a little racism going on. Because I I, I, when I, I know there's a black cop. If he would have did the same thing as what that other dude did to Tremont Martin, he wouldn't went to jail. I know that for a fact. Just because it's, and they probably won't even put him to jail because it's black on black crime. They don't even care about that. See, that's the thing. That's sad. Like, they training us to, to kill ourselves. Y'all know that. I don't know, bro. This, this system is crazy. They want they want us to hate our own kind, our own our own complexion, and no one gonna will. That was the original people here. That's the reason why they, they mad. They scared. They scared of us like progressing. So hit that like button, and subscribe, man. That's just a little story I had to talk about. I just ran it off today. Hey YouTube, hey, go check out my Twitch stream Saturday nights, Sunday nights, Saturday whatever. Just go ahead and check out my Twitch and go follow me.